So you fucking guys enjoying Sid City or what? Fuck, let me hear about it. Let me hear what you guys got to say. Jesus fucking Christ. You Facebook motherfuckers. Never got a goddamn thing to say, good or bad, eh? So you can take your goddamn comments and shove them right up your fucking ass, motherfuckers. Is that what you guys want? Shock TV? No, seriously, I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm having a fucking blast. I'm having a blast. Um, taking a lot of my goddamn time, though. But I got all the time in the world because I'm doing what I love. So should you. Good morning. So this is what I like to do first thing in the morning. As soon as I wake up, I take out my... Oh, so I need another, another set of hands here. Ooh. Show you guys this. So I go to my... Here, let me erase that. So what I do is see this part here. So basically this is my video on my editing on my editing app. So you guys so check it. So I let's do it this way. I'll go here. So here's this is my latest uh that's my latest um draft. So what I'll do is I'll go I'll start watching it. So what I what I found was a really cool tool was, you'll see, I actually make notes on the screen. Watch. I know I made some notes in the beginning here. I know I did somewhere here. <laughs> yeah, see, there we go. There we go. Hang on. I know, I didn't really think this through, I'm just, yeah. This is a really cool tool to use to, uh, to redo this. It works really well. I actually write my ideas on the screen. It's really neat. See that? See, redo part, same concept. His relationship was a mess. I know there's another one in here. See, so I go. We'll, we'll get to him a little later in the story. So here I make a note that I forgot to say. Um, uh, during the first part of the video, I didn't actually specify on a time. I just said fast forward. So I need to clarify the fact that this happened 20 year, twenty odd years ago, right? So I have to clarify that. So I just go through the whole thing, and then that's how I add my notes. Instead of putting them on the paper and trying to figure out the timestamp, I just throw it on the on the on the uh, on the video that way. Um, when I'm rewatching it, and I'm already ahead of the words, um, what I'm supposed to say flashed on the screen. So then I just say I say that in my head. So. <coughs> Instead of constantly, constantly performing it, because I don't want to fall into any bad habits while I'm performing it, I want my ideas on there to be fluid. So I don't know if it makes that any sense, but it's early and uh, I'm mumbling. But I really wanted to show you guys uh, that, and uh, I'm going back to work. Um, yeah, and getting on with my day, and yeah, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, I'm definitely not going to post this fucking video. Yeah, so uh, today is the day I find out uh, if Sid City is actual, uh, um, it's actually feasible. <laughs> That's one thing about manic behavior is, um, at least in my case, you really do become a different person. And what that other person creates, um, call him Sid, uh, Sid is like a, basically it's like a, uh, is what I call uh, extreme high manic state. Instead of saying hypomanic or hypomania, 
this is a lot of times where I'll assess Sid's behavior and uh, sometimes it makes sense and there's a lot of times that it doesn't you know um, so we have to figure out if uh, whatever I created in that state of mind will actually fit in the in this world <laughs> in my world like crazy like we were hyper focused for five six days extremely hyper focused not only writing not only fucking performing it but to actually film it edit it put all the applause to it like there was so much work that went into that so much work and uh so i need to take a step back from it from for a few days and uh looked at it today and uh yeah i was cringing um but you know we hit play and and uh I think I, I think we could do this. Well, we are doing it. <laughs> this was I'm kind of ahead of myself here. Um, yeah, what, what I posted that was that was done a little while back. So yeah, um, I really like it, and we're making a go of it. And uh, yeah, so I guess Joe Rogan was right. Maybe you have to be a crazy fucker to be a stand-up comic, right? Because it's actually going to make sense. It's going to be feasible in my reality. You know, it's something I can do, so uh, I'm doing it, and uh, yeah, so it was a good day. But not only that, what happens is also now I'm watching it through uh, a minimalist, manic uh, state of mind, and I'm watching the video. So now it's almost like watching it with fresh pair of eyes. And I know it sounds kind of fucked up, but. Yeah, so I'm looking, I'm going this, and all of a sudden, fucking my pen, my hand's just writing. I'm like, yeah, we gotta put this, we gotta do this, change, we gotta do this, we gotta do this. Now, I didn't delete anything, I'm just adding on to the bit. You know, like, we're at 57 minutes now for this for this set, so I think I just uh, wrote another 10 goddamn minutes, so. <laughs> you know, from, uh, from what I hear, it usually takes comics, you know, um, uh, up to two years, it can take comics two years to put, uh, you know, put together an hour of material, you know, and, uh, I don't know what the fuck's going on with me, but I've got, I've made an hour in like five days, so, you know, um, I'm really, I'm really, really happy. Like, if I'm laughing at it, you know, it's gotta be funny as fuck, you know, because I have a good sense of humor. Whether I'm in a manic state or not, you know. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> this is fucked up. It's fun though. But I thought I'd give you guys a a conversation from a lower state mentally, you know. But yeah, that's it. So that's all I gotta say. So I see you guys again. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Come bless you all. Take care, guys. Oh yeah, what that other guy said about the comments? Yeah, I don't listen to him. Don't worry about commenting, guys. Keep your comments to yourself. <laughs> All good. Take care, guys. So what was Sid City? Um, what did Sid City mean? What was Sid City? Um, Sid City is a manifestation of um, um, of manic behavior, which is a state of psychosis of the mental illness of bipolar. Hmm. What's that mean to you? Not a fucking thing. What's it mean to me? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just one of a bunch of medical shit out there, hoping that it sounds intelligent. Uh, I don't bother with all that crap. You know. Um. Well, so we're uh probably day nine of when uh, we started doing Stit City. Um, you know what? began as a 
a P of an idea, which I have many. And uh, uh, if I'm in a manic state and this P starts in my mind, then uh, we get hyper focused on that idea. And um, we're off to the race. Simply uh, create structure and purpose um, that I lack in my life. When there's an underlying issue that I have to deal with um, that I may not be able to solve um, in a non-manic state, um, my manic state will hyper-focus on that problem and, uh, and look to correct it or look to solve it. Um, this is probably the easiest way I can describe it. Um, manic behavior manifests itself in many different forms and different different ways and levels and, but Sid City was definitely the uh, that's what I'm looking for was definitely the product of what I was lacking in my life and what problems I needed to solve um, we're definitely not in a manic state now obviously you know but we were for pretty much more than a week you know um, yeah it was uh, it was up there not to the level it was last month when I was working full time like that was like on a scale of 1 to 10 that was more like a 12 that episode I had last month so we're definitely not going to put ourselves in that position again but the last uh, the last week you know um, Manic was definitely elevated you know we were probably sitting around an 8 Eight and a half, nine. Um, was it unhealthy? No, not really. Not really. I, I, I recognized it. I knew it was in it, but I embraced it and just let it flow. Let it happen. Finished my task, which is Sid City. Well, it's not completely finished, but the foundation of it needed to get completed before I was able to drop back into a, you know, um, a normal level, so to speak. I try to use, I'm trying to use words for you guys understand. So that's basically a, a calmer version of me, I guess you could say. And then, um, yeah, then uh, a little later, um, I had to actually, you know, take a look at what I created uh, after just a couple of days of kind of pushing it back. So I'm just trying to slowly coming down, slowly coming down, you know. Um, I'm like dreading, I'm like, oh my god, what am I looking at here? What am I looking at? What am I looking at? You know, but it worked out. It worked out. Now we're four or five days removed from that day, and you know, and uh, uh, some good came out of it. <laughs> some good came out of it. <laughs> yeah, so, anyways, that's all I want to share. Just want to share that. So, until I see you guys again. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other. God bless you all. I know you look the other way.